Hi students, so today we will discuss about the numericals on work power energy from concise physics class 10. Okay, uh, I am not doing all the numericals here, but some important numericals from the book exercise we will do it. Okay. So the first numerical, uh, I am not writing the numerical here because those who are having the book, I think they can easily understand what is written over there. So if I write it, it will take much time. So better, we will do it directly. So first question, we will go for question number 9. Okay. So what is given here? It is given an ox can apply maximum force of 1000 Newton. An ox can apply maximum force of 1000 Newton. So F is equals to 1000 Newton. It is given. What the things are given more? It's taking a part in a cart race and able to pull the cart at a constant speed 30 meter per second. So V equals to 30 meter per second. While making its best effort, calculate the power developed on OX. See, if I'm talking about the power, we know power equals to work by time power p equals to instead of work we can write f dot s or f into s by time okay so here f into s by t s by t means here s is the displacement t is the time so s by t means displacement upon time so it is velocity f into velocity because S equals to displacement and T equals to time and displacement by time equals to velocity. So F into V that is the power. You see F is given to us. I'm sorry. F is 1000 and V is 30. So it is 30,000 watt or 30 kilowatt. That is the power generated by the ox okay that is the power generated by the ox okay now i'll go for question number uh, we'll go for question number 14 okay it is not tough but we'll do uh, some important questions we'll definitely uh, not definitely i'm telling we may come in exam question number 14 is there a boy of weight 40 kgf so it is given in a form of gravitational unit 40 kgf it is the weight kilogram force so from here we can conclude mass m equals to 40 kg that is the gravitational unit we all know when the mass is directly converted into weight next it cl he climbs up 15 step each of 15 centimeter height so assume it's just like a stair okay it's a stair so assume there are 15 steps are there and each of the step it is how much 15 centimeter okay so total steps equals to 15 and height of each step equals to 15 centimeter so total height is equals to 15 into 15 that is 225 centimeter or 2.25 meter 225 centimeter or 2.25 meter now it is told that he can able to reach in 10 second and the girl of weight so it is the weight of the boy so we have to mention here boy so weight of the girl that is how much it is 20 kgf so mass will be 20 kg and that is for the girl and he can able to reach it uh, in a time how much five seconds compare the work done we know the work done against gravity 
W equals to M G H. W equals to M G H. So here we have to write down work done by boy. That is W B. That is equals to M B G into H. M B G into H. Okay. So here it is asked compare the work done. So one thing we have to remember that mass is given 40 g it is given 10 and when it is 10 or 9 it is 10 and h is 2.25 okay that much of joule will not multiply it because it is told to compare why we have to multiply okay it is not needed you see now next part is work done by girl how much wg it is the mass of girl is 20 g is 10 and height is 2.25 joule compare means we have to take a ratio so ratio of wb by wg okay so if we have done wb by wg you see 40 into 10 into 2.25 by 20 into 10 into 2.25 see all these things are cancelled out so it is 2 by 1 that means 2 is to 1 that is the ratio of work done for the boy and the girl okay that is the answer of the first part i think it is clear now we'll go for the next one what is the next part the next part tells us that you have to compare the power also we have to compare the power also so how we can able to compare the power let's see compare the power developed by them power equals to what power by boy that is pb that is equals to wb by t okay uh, or wb by tb the time taken by the boy so the time taken by the boy it is 10 second so w equals to 40 into 10 into 2.25 by 10 okay cancel out don't need to multiply because we have to take the ratio 2.25 what keep it like this way power by girl okay that is pg wg by tg that is 20 into 10 into 2.25 and the girl takes the time that is 5 seconds okay so 5 to the okay and here also it is coming 40 into 2.25 what if i'm taking the ratio of power so ratio of power is pb by pg that is 40 into 2.25 by 40 into 2.25 cancel out it is 1 by 1 so pb is to pg that is equals to 1 is to 1 simple thing okay very simple we have finding the ratio okay for both work done and power both work done and power we have finding the ratio okay now we'll go for question number 16 so it is question number 14 now we'll go for question number 16 and if you do only these three numericals here then i think you can able to do all the another numericals are given so my suggestion is by see this numerical you have to complete all the numerical givens in the chapter okay i think it is copied if it is not copied then pause the video in this position copy the question properly and try to understand what we have discussed here now we'll go for the next part our next numerical that is question number 16 okay 
I think uh, it is same for all book. Maybe it is possible that one numerical I have done, it is there in a different question number in your book. It may be possible. And if it is there also, I think you can able to find it out. Question number 16. The question is, a boy takes 3 minutes. Okay, a boy takes 3 minutes. So, the time taken by the boy TB equals to 3 minutes. Okay, that means... 182nd to lift 20 liter water bucket from a 20 meter deep well so at a deep means how much height you can take it is 20 meter or you can say the depth also same thing mention it is depth and the volume of water it is given 20 liter and now you see if I want to find the work done we need to find mass here it is given volume so volume it is not needed it is not compulsory for us we need to find out the mass so if the volume is given how can we able to find the mass so mass equals to volume into density 20 liter means we know 20 liter equals to 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube so write the volume here 20 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter cube and what is the density of water you see in your book it is given the density of water is 10 to the power 3 kg per meter cube so here it is 20 kg that is the mass of the water we have taken out while his father has done it in 2 minutes so the boy takes 3 minutes Tf means T father, time taken by the father, it is 2 minutes, it is 120 second. First one is compare the work, okay, compare the work. So if I am coming here, work done by boy, that is WB, WB equals to M into G into H, that is 20 into 10, is it 10 or 9.8? What is given here? We have to see. It is 9.8. So we have to take it as 9.8, the value of G. 20 into 9.8 into height is 20. That much of Joule. We will not multiply now. Work done by father WF that is equals to also MGH. That is 20 into 9.8 into 20 joule. Because both are raising the same amount of water from the depth. Both are raising the same amount of water from the depth. So the total work done is same. So ratio of work done WB is to WA. Uh, it is simply 1 is to 1. Because both the work done is same. So just write down 1 is to 1. Next. Power developed by them. Power. Power by boy PB equals to WB by T. That is the time. Means time by the boy TB. Okay. So, we have taken here capital. Oh, no problem. This. So, it is 20 into 9.8 into 20 by time is 180. Let it be like this. No need to make any sort of calculation here. Because here we have to take the ratio. So if I multiply, it will not make any sense. Because it will be cancelled out. Many things will be cancelled out. Power by father. PF. That is WF by TF. That is 20 into 9.8 into 20 by 120. What? Now we have to take the ratio that is PB by PF. If you take the ratio, see these two portions is cancel out. Okay, so it will come 120 by 180. So as 120 is at uh, denominator, it will come up and 180 as is already denominated here, it will be there. Okay, so it is you can say 6 twos are 6 threes are. So, PB is to PF is equals to 2 is to 3. That is the power. That is the 
ratio of the power is generated. So work done is 1 is to 1. Power it is 2 is to 3. Now how much work? Now you have to multiply. No thing. You have to multiply. So work done W equals to W by the boy or the father. It is same. 20 into 9.8 into 20. So 20 into 20 it is 400 into 9.8. So 2 9 point is there 2 0 3 9 uh, 2 zeros are there. So point it is already been here and 1 0 another 0. So that means 3 9 2 0 that much amount of joule. Okay. That will be the answer, and in your book it is given in kilojoules, so right? 3.92 kilojoules. This is the answer of the total work done. Okay, I think it is very easy. Now I'll go to exercise 2b. So exercise 2a is completed, just copy it. Okay, now I'll go for exercise 2b. Let's see what numericals are given there. And here also we will do two or three numericals. Okay, not much because it is not needed also to do all the numericals because you can able to do it by your own. Okay, here, okay, so first we will erase this one exercise to be. So, first numerical we will do. We will do question number 18. Question number 18 is very important numerical. Okay. So we will do question number 18. And then we will do question number 21. Then 22. Okay. If you do these numericals only. I think it is enough. Question number 18. Okay. What is asked there? Exercise 2B. A truck weighing 1000 kg F. So, weight of the truck is given 1000 kg F. So, from this information, we can find the mass also. So, mass equals to 1000 kg of the truck. The speed from 36 km per hour to 72 km per hour means initial speed u equals to. 36 kilometer per hour see it is given in kilometer per hour but you know if we want to do in si we have to convert it in meter per second so it is 36 into 5 by 18 10 meter per second we always convert anything it is given apart from the si unit will convert it into si v it is given 72 kilometer per hour so that will be converted into SI 72 into 5 by 18. So 20 meter per second. 10 meter per second and 20 meter per second velocity is already told in 2 minutes. Okay. So time t equals to 2 minutes. That means 120 second. Calculate the work done by the engine. Very interesting thing. See here no force, no displacement, nothing is there. So how can we able to find the work done? So to find the work done, we have to understand work energy theorem. We have read it. Work energy theorem tells us that work done is equals to increase in kinetic energy so w equals to half of m v square minus u square see everything is given to you half m equals to 1000 v square equals to how much it is 20 square u square equals to 10 square okay 500 and it is 20 square means 400 10 square means 100, so 300. So 500 into 300, that is 1500 or 1 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 joule. 
that is the work done by the truck this is the work done by the truck so this type of question is very important for your exam point of view because here you see that any force displacement nothing is given what is given here it is given mass and velocities so if mass and velocities are given also we can able to find the work done now the next part as the time is given so it is clear that it is asked to find the power so power equals to w by t value of work done 1.5 into 10 to the power 5 time is equals to 120 okay 120 second it is given already so one zero will be cancelled out here 20 minutes two minutes is there okay so one zero will be cancelled out there so one five will make it like this way zero zero uh, one uh, one point five into ten to the power four by twelve twelve into one fifty if i am taking ten to the power three one fifty into uh, here it is 10 to the power 3 so if it is taking 12 here so 3 fours are and 3 50 okay 2 and here it is 25 and it's 12.5 so it is 12.5 into 10 to the power 3 12.5 into 10 to the power i'm sorry not 12.5 it should be 1.25 1.25 into 10 to the power 3 1.25 into 10 to the power 3 because it is 50 it is yes yes okay 120 it has been gone okay to 1 1.5 so 12.5 into 10 to the power 3 here the calculation it will be 10 to the power 2 because two zeros we have taken then it is 1.25 10 to the power 3 what so calculate it if you are not able to understand how this calculation is done you will calculate whatever the digits are there by using you calculate by your own then i think your doubts will be clear any numerical do it by your own so this is question number 18 now I'll go for question number 21 okay very interesting question and it will take the least least space to complete okay so i think i can able to erase now Next question is how much energy is gained by a box of mass 20 kg when a man carrying the box weights of 5 minutes for a bus. Before doing the numerical try to understand it. Mass M equals to 20 kg. It is already given. Mass M equals to 20 kg. Carrying the box weights for 5 minutes for a bus. He just hold the box and wait for the bus and now the question is how much work is done see here no displacement occurs the man just hold the box at one place no displacement nothing is there so for question number one for no displacement work will be zero as there is no displacement then work done will be zero coming to the point b runs carrying the box with a speed of 3 meter per second so carrying the box the man runs so if it is the direction of displacement okay and the force of gravity is acting on it here so the angle between them it is 90 degree we know w equals to a f s cos theta and here theta is 90 a f s cos 90 that is zero so here also the work done will be zero come to question number c raises a box by 0 0.5 meter in order to place it inside the bus here one thing it is there that it raises at a height of 0 0.5 meter now we can able to find the work done because w equals to if you done any work against the gravity that is mgh what is the mass here 20 value of g 10 it is 0 0.5 so it should be 100 it should be. 
hundred joule. That will be your answer. That will be your answer. Okay, it's very easy. Nothing too much uh, work is not needed here. Okay, uh, for question number B, one minute. When runs carrying the box with a speed of three meter per second to catch the bus. Here one thing will be done. I have shown you zero, but as per your book, see as a man run, as a man run. So here we can uh, take the kinetic energy also. Okay, if we have done the work done by man, we can find the kinetic energy that is half of mass into v square that is 3 into 3 so it is 90 joule that we can write if we have not taken the force of gravity here if you have taken the force of gravity then your work done will be zero because you have taken the box and you are moving uh, if I'm talking about the work done, then it will be zero. But in your book, it is written 90 joule. So here in every time, I have just mentioned this two part. Okay. One for zero in natural way that if you displace and the force of gravity is acting downward, in that sense, the work done should be zero. But if you go by the four, how much work is done by the man, that should be equal to its kinetic energy. And there you can take 90 joule. So for... For your book, I think 90 joule it is the right way. Then you forget about zero. Just erase it. It is not needed then. Okay. But in my sense, zero will also be an answer for part two. Okay. Uh, so I think as per your book, you will go by 90 joule. That is work done. Here you have to mention that work done. Is equals to kinetic energy by that way we can do it okay so now we'll go for the question number 22 the last part question number 22 question number 22 let's see what is given here a bullet of mass 50 gram so mass is given m equals to 50 gram mass of one bullet so 50 gram means 0 0.05 kg okay so that is the mass of the bullet velocity v equals to how much 500 meter per second velocity is given it penetrates 10 centimeter into a steel target and come to the rest Calculate the kinetic energy and the average retarding force. First of all, the kinetic energy. So, what should be the kinetic energy? Kinetic energy equals to half m v square. Half into 0 0.05 v square means 500 into 500. V square means 500 meter per second. So, if you cancel out, it is 250. Taking the two zeros from here, so it is 5 into 5 so this 5 two zeros we have taken into 5 into 250 so 25 into 25 6 to 5 0 this much amount of joule that much kinetic energy is possessed by the bullet now it is just average returning force average returning force one thing you see how much kinetic energy is possessed by the bullet that much work is done inside the steel okay it is told now it is penetrated by a displacement of 10 centimeter 10 centimeter means 10 by 100 that is 1 by 10 meter okay if i am taking the average force is f if force is f that is the returning force so f into d that should be equals to the total work done that is kinetic energy and that is 6250 okay f equals to d 1 by 10 
equation of work done here f into d is nothing but the work done inside the steel okay work done inside the steel so work done equals to f into d and by that we can make equal with the kinetic energy and we have got the answer okay now after going to the last part of work power energy that is the conservation of energy exercise 2c exercise 2c uh, very easy one we have to do okay so we will do here two numericals three and five rest of the numericals i'll expect that you can able to do by your own if you are not able to do then tell i will do it and send it to you okay but first of all you have to try it by your own then we'll go for the next okay so first i am coming exercise 2c question number 3 exercise 2c question number 3 what is the question a metal ball of mass 2 kg to fall freely from rest at a height of 5 meter mass 2 kg height 5 meter it is easily falling and the value of g it is given 10 meter per second square first question calculate the potential energy we know potential energy equals to mgh so that is 2 into 5 into 10 that is 100 joule question number b what is the kinetic energy of the ball just before the hits the ground so before hitting the ground as per kinetic energy we know what energy is stored here that same energy will be here when it reaches so here potential energy is maximum and if you come here here kinetic energy is maximum which is equal to the potential energy at top okay so whatever the potential energy here we have find out kinetic energy it is also same that is 100 joule okay because we know energy is conserved now the question is come what happens to the mechanical energy after the ball hits the ground and comes to rest that means if you throw the ball here or just fall the ball here it is reaching in this point and stop here what will happen here the total mechanical energy is what that is the potential energy and if after incident on the ground it is not moving so here some amount of energy is converted into sound energy and some amount of energy is converted into heat energy okay so that two things will be possible another thing is not possible okay sound energy and heat energy if mechanical energy if i'm talking about the conversion it converts into heat and sound energy at downward okay now I'll go for question number five okay and that will be the last question we will do it here okay and after that you will do it all the numericals by your own i think you can able to do it question number five what is given a hydroelectric power station so we all have learned about the hydroelectricity so in a hydroelectric power station we know the water is stored okay so we, we have all seen the dam this type of thing is there here the water is stored okay and the water is coming downward here turbine is here okay tar this turbine move and we'll get electricity that is the thing so hydroelectricity power station the water level is of height of 50 meters so height of the water level this height it is already mentioned 50 meter okay assuming the overall efficiency of 40 percent calculate the mass of the water which must flow through the turbine each second to produce a power output of one megawatt okay see 
height is told mass is not given so let mass is equals to m efficiency one important term is given efficiency equals to how much efficiency is given to us 40 percent what is efficiency first i am clear, clearing this thing then we'll go further what is efficiency efficiency is basically a ratio of work output to work input work output by work input means how much work you have done and how much work you will get work output means how much work you will get work input means how much work you have done so work input into efficiency that will be the output work input into efficiency that will be the output so what will be the work input here work input means that how much energy is needed to take the water in this height that's simply the potential energy work input should be equal to the potential energy that is p equals to m g h the value of g whether it is given in 10 or 9.8 is given 10 so m g is 10 and height is 50 that is the potential energy work output work output it tells us that potential energy into efficiency eta this is known as eta like n it is known as eta so what output equals to potential into eta then we'll get work output m into 10 into 50 into eta means how much 40 percent so 40 by 100 so 10 tens are 4 okay so 15 to 4 200 into m this much amount of joule that is the work output and work output how much we have got that power we got in one second is equals to one mega watt power in one second is equals to one mega watt so how much energy will get energy equals to one megawatt into one second because power work done we know na? w equals to power into time so here w means the energy power is one megawatt in one second one megawatt means 10 to the power six this much of joule that power that energy we can get and that should be equals to the work output okay so we can write down 200 m equals to 10 to the power 6 and m equals to 10 to the power 6 by 200 okay so two zeros will be cancelled out here will 10 to the power 4 by 2 so it is 5000 kg as we have finding the mass m equals to 5000 kg so that much amount of water you have to take at a height then only you can able to get this much amount of energy okay so practice this new all the numericals are given here if you have any doubt in any numerical you can ask me thank you